This is a burnt Pikachu. Hello everybody, it's Normal Bacon, and today I want to show you guys my office. Let's see if I can get this right. Now, what does this button do? Jesus Christ, I hate iPhones. Anyhow, this is my channel. As you can see, the traffic. And I want to show you guys something real quick. Let me see if I can set this up right. This is a uh, burnt Pikachu. Created with AI art um, neural nets. So it's completely made from scratch. Um, I haven't got blogging too much about it. Um, I'm working on uh, showcasing it better, but I have a Tumblr that has most of the artwork I've done. Narwhalbacon.tumblr.com supposed to be narwhalbacon.com but I'm still filming with it I gotta call Bluehost but um, just want to give you guys a quick update what's going on with the channel and why I haven't recently been posting um, I came back with some uh, health issues but I got them under wraps already um, I'm going to the gym yeah the gym <laughs> and um, yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah this photo right here is a tree I bought at uh, Gilroy. Now the cool thing about this is this. Let's see if I can zoom in. See the year? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it was made in 71 by an artist called uh, Rebecca Venanzano. It was made in San Mateo, which is technically um, I don't know if you guys heard of it, um, I guess it's called a Sudden Oak Death Syndrome or something like that, but there's currently, a, these trees are technically dying in California, and I don't know, it's just kind of cool to have a picture of a tree before that incident happened, and um, currently right now in California there's an incident where I guess all the trees are just dying randomly, and they don't, they don't have a reason why, and it's just kind of cool to have something from that time frame, from 71, showcasing something before that incident so it's kind of cool um here's a room tour yeah it's kind of a shared room but yeah it's a mess now the funny thing about this is that right now my stereo i get stuff out of the way i run a pioneer setup old school got it at a i guess a yard sale for like Seven bucks, ten bucks. It works really well until it burned out, and now I got technically mono instead of stereo. It still sounds good though, even though it's uh, what do you call it, uh, mono. But yeah, I got even freaking wiring sticking out right there. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, I hook up some Samsungs, and then uh, here's another one. Oh, here's a mic. Pretty cool. The one that does all the magic. And the main one, which is this monster of a computer. So I'll show you guys real quick. The motherboard. <laughs> the funny thing is I'm always up taking it off the tray on the side. I don't know if you guys can see it. This right here. I keep taking it off because I'm changing the connections on the on the, the hard drives. Because this one has uh what do you call it? Let me see. Here. This has Windows on it. This one has uh, Family Photos, which is an SSD. This one has uh, more hard drive stuff. And uh, this one has more hard drive stuff. It's a new hard drive. And this one right here, this tiny laptop hard drive, has Linux. So all I do is just switch these two connections. I'm going to show these two to down here, and I have Linux. Now I know what you guys are saying, why not just do a dual boot, but... Um, I did that and I accidentally formatted uh, Windows and that cost me $140. Ouch. But other than that, this monster tower, which is freaking huge. I mean, it's like, does most of the rendering and processing. The cool thing about it is that it supports Xeon, so I could put up to 32 threads, which I think is a, I don't know if it's a 16 core, Xeon. I haven't got to that yet, but, and a shitload of memory. I haven't also got to that yet, but other than that, it's, it's a pretty good build, and it does a lot of cool stuff on it. 
Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Oh, yeah. Also, I wanted to note out that uh, Battlefield 1 came out for uh, PS4. Got access to that, but I didn't get access to the PC version. Bummer. I was going to showcase it badly. Um, I'm going to have to do a re-register. Right now it says open beta, but I think uh, what's going to happen is that I'm going to have to uh, wait until they release it, which will be, I think, three days from this video. Um, currently it's not um, not out. It's out officially through the registration, but the registration wasn't working, and that's not good. Anyhow, I opened up also five websites in the time that I wasn't posting. <laughs> Anyhow, after being disconnected from out of memory, yeah, this is not my phone. It's a little different. But other than that, um, I'm trying to see here. What else have we got? I will be showing more Neuronet research. Um, there's some stuff I've been doing on the side, and I want to show you guys. I haven't been showing it at all, but that's going to be uh, something that's going to be pretty cool to watch. Um, also, if you guys seen the movie Chappie, you seen when it started drawing. Um, I'm able to recreate that on this system right here. In a small form not in a perfect form but in a small form and the results are pretty cool they're unique also um, I'll show you guys one of the designs or a few designs that I have from the neural net but overall they will be kind of random depending on what style I want to go with but um, lately I've been having a lot of time to play with the neural nets and I've been making some pretty good results and progress with it so um, I'll show you guys what this looks like right now. This concludes our video. I'll see you guys soon. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll try to keep more uploading, but I don't like making promises because sometimes I end up breaking them. So I'm gonna leave it as, I'll see you later. Later guys.